With the drastic changes we have witnessed regarding the Western server launch, I do have to make new plans and here is what I personally am gunning for in the Western servers. So having tier 3 at launch changes my plans quite drastically. Originally intended to go to Rohendel and then push my alts, my goals now are gonna be bring my main to Punica or Punica as fast as I can. This means the following, we don't really know what the tier 1 islands nerf or adjustments are gonna be, but I think reaching Rohendel shouldn't be a problem. Reaching Yorn on the other hand i really don't know how long it'll actually take me on the live servers we don't know if there's going to be events there's a lot of things that are still kind of in the mist here so it might be faster than we anticipate or maybe also slower than we anticipate if i have to guess i think we can easily reach yorn in the matter of the head start but that's just my personal guess judging from the state that we had in the beta outside of this phaeton will definitely take a while so i don't think punica is going to be reachable in like one or two days however i still think it's quite the priority to get there now why this is so important is rox has confirmed that we're going to get a feature that is called the knowledge transfer or the gold boost unfortunately we don't have this feature on russia so i can't show you what it looks like but i'll pop in a screenshot here so what we see on the screenshot here is that it'll take 600 gold and eight hours to push a character from level 10 to level 50 and it'll end up at gear score 302. This is a massive game changer and I highly encourage everybody to try it out or at least see if this is a feasible option for you. I for myself will definitely use that because during those 8 hours you can still just progress your main, do islands, do events, do garden raids, do chaos dungeons, all while a second character is being prepared for you to farm some more stuff the class selection so as of most of you know my main is gonna be a devil hunter indeed so dead eye for the western version that's not gonna change however there's gonna be a slight change i will not make a scrapper slash infighter but instead i will actually make a blaster or artillerist alt that doesn't mean that i will not make a scrapper further down the line but at least for my second dps character it's gonna be artillerist and the paladin is definitely gonna be a pick and there's a slight hint that if i find the time i might also try hawkeye so maybe we're gonna see some bow action but i'm not fully decided on that so it's really just a switcheroo scrapper out blaster in and who knows maybe in the future i'll just bring my scrapper back up again that's not fully decided yet so the server selection thing we have not selected a server and by we i mean the whistles guild so what does that mean originally we planned to go into kadan because that's essentially where the pvpers are going to though i think people got a little bit of a wrong idea about the pvp server here because there's also a lot of gvgers going to go onto kadan which you know could bear some problems especially since gvg is heavily influenced by amount of money and is arguably one if not the most pay to win aspect of the entire game so this could potentially lead to some problems for the whistles guild however this was our original plan our second backup was way now if you go to the second spreadsheet here and those spreadsheets are going to be in the links to the description as well below this is a little bit of a problem because as of now way seems to be the unofficial spanish server now that doesn't mean we can't play on way right but since whistles is an international guild it kind of makes sense to play on an international server so as of now our selection is either going to be kadan or zinner vale the other servers as you can see here this is i think fairly important are more or less branded unofficially so trixion is going to be a lot of french and turkish players in area polish italian asa is the german one way spanish portuguese romanian Dinner Veil is like the unofficial English one, so essentially a second international one and some Scandinavians. And Slen is going to be the unofficial Balkan server. So as of now, the decision for us is between Kadan and Dinner Veil. Because way, you know, since it's going to be Spanish, we're kind of out of the, the lead there. And Dinner Veil seems to be having the most English-speaking population, though Kadan seems to be the most widespread there. I can't really tell you where we're going to because I don't know it myself and we just have to decide as a group together. Obviously, I will definitely keep you guys updated. I'm probably not going to make a separate video in regards to this, but I will definitely either put a tweet, I'll probably post it in Discord, and you'll definitely know what server I'm going to go on before we actually go live. Outside of this, this is almost everything I wanted to tell you. The last thing I want to dive into is the fact that I do intend to make a 24-hour live stream during my leveling period. Regardless of the server we're going to go for, so if that's something you're interested to join in, I know there's going to be plenty streamers, so I'm going to be a very, very small fish in the grand scheme of things here. So ideally, 
I just have a few bunch of people here to chat around. Obviously, if you're a new player, if you're a veteran player, if you want to hang out and just speak about anything in regards to Lost Ark or anything else for that matter, then be my guest, really. Obviously, the server times have been announced, so I'm going to be live probably a couple minutes prior to that, trying to get into the server. And ideally, I'm going to be doing a full swoop of 24 hours live streaming. And then I'll get some rest because I don't want to strain myself too much for the launch because there's a lot of days and weeks ahead of us with a lot of content to boot. So yeah, like I said, links are going to be in the description below as well as my Twitch link. And I do hope that this, you know, shed some light on how the tier 3 launch actually changed my own plans and how it may affect your plans. To each their own, really. I still think we're going to do just fine. I don't see it as a big problem. It just changed a few things around here and there for me as it did for pretty much everybody else as well. So yeah, thank you everybody for, for being here so far with me for this uh, wonderful journey and the upcoming hours, days and weeks of Lost Ark Fawn of the Western servers. I do hope to see some of you on my Twitch channel. If not, if you're just watching the videos or reading my tweets or being on Discord just to chat, that's perfectly fine as well. So do so, do so. I do hope this was helpful and uh, maybe even entertaining or enlightening for some people. I do wish everybody to stay safe and I'll see you. I don't know actually when, probably in the next video or in the next live stream. You stay safe and take care.